So in this example, um, now we're, I'm asking you to graph one. And again, I still want to use slope-intercept form. So the main important thing you guys are going to want to do for this one is make this equation look like this equation. And basically, the way to do that is to solve for y, to isolate the y variable. So we want to go and look at and see, all right, what is happening to my y variable? My y variable is being multiplied by a negative 1, and it's being added by 5x. So the first thing I'll do is subtract a 5x on both sides. Then I have negative y is equal to a negative 5x plus 6. Then I'll divide by negative 1, divide by negative 1. Remember, when you're dividing a quantity by a number, you've got to divide that number into both of them. So therefore, I have positive y equals a positive 5x minus 6. Now my slope, you could say, is positive 5 over 1. And my y-intercept is 0 comma negative 6. Okay, So we'll just go ahead and do the same thing. Now I'll just go down to negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I'll use my slope of up 5 to the right 1. So from my y-intercept, up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. You only need to follow the slope to another point because it only takes two points to draw a line. Anybody have any questions? Yes. No, this is just one example of how to graph a line. So if you have another way that is quicker and it's fine, that's perfectly fine. I'm just going over a review. There's multiple different ways to 